Hi, my name is Simon Cotter, and I'm Director of Product Management for Oracle Infrastructure Software. And today I'm going to share with you uh, one of the new greatest features that we have there on VirtualBox 7, that is the Cloud Network. Cloud Network gives you the opportunity to configure a local VirtualBox VM and get the same acting and working as it is running on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Now, let's see all the details about this. So, um, yeah, this is the, the VirtualBox 7 UI. And as you can see, I have my environments running on OCI, so on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, as well as my local VMs. Now, let's say that I would like to create um, a bridge, right, between my local VM or OL8 and one VM running there, or one instance running there on OCI, so the Ubuntu OCI instance. So first of all, let's let's start this instance there on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Uh, while waiting to see that instance going to start, uh, yeah, I would like to give you a quick overview of this Oracle Linux 8 machine that is locally available on my VirtualBox instance. So if I look at the settings, as you can see on the network, I have a standard bridged adapter leveraging my physical NIC there on my on my host device, and yeah, an adapter type that is going to be the Virtual one uh, and the Promise mode configured. Now, I would like to get this local Oracle Linux 8 VM running with a VNIC, so a virtual network interface card there in OCI. And so getting an IP address from OCI. So the first step, the first step is to create a, an OCI VCN, so an OCI virtual cloud network that will be dedicated to the tunneling that is going to happen between my local VirtualBox VM and the instance running there on OCI. Obviously, on this example, I just have one local VM and an instance running there on OCI, but this kind of thing can be done with, for more VMs locally available, as well as more instances there on OCI. So um, by the terminal, what I have to do is to create this kind of tunneling VCN. And this kind of thing can be done by this command. So the standard VBox manage CLI, cloud, uh, the provider that is going to be Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, the profile name, and the profile name is going to be Frankfurt or OLV. So this profile name, because I would like to get my local VM talking with this one. Um, and then the command network setup. So while executing this command, what, what is going to happen there on OCI, right? So as you can see, the cloud network environment is set up successfully and a tunnel network ID has been created, right? So if I go there on the OCI web interface and I check on the VCN available on my tenant, right? As you can see, we have a new uh, VCN named VirtualBox Tunneling Network. And this kind of thing, or this kind of VCN is going to be just dedicated to the tunneling process, right? So not going to be leveraged by VMs directly. Now, um, with this VCN in place, the next step is to build the cloud network. So if I go there on the VirtualBox UI under networks, I have one tab or one button for cloud networks. And here I can create a new network. Here I can give the name that is going to be Frankfurt OLV subnet. Obviously the provider is going to be OCI. The profile would be the Frankfurt one. And now here I have to provide the subnet ID. Which subnet ID? The subnet ID that is going to be there also on this VM, right? And to, to get on, on this, I can just leverage the subnet ID leveraged by the Ubuntu OCI VM. So the VM running there on OCI, I can copy the value, right? And go there on the cloud network, supply the OCI ID of that subnet and click on apply. So again, I created the VBox tunneling VCN. I created one new cloud network on the VirtualBox UI. 
And now the only thing that I have to do is to go there on the settings for my local Oracle Linux 8 VM select network. Attach it to will be cloud network. And the subnet is going to be Frankfurt OLB subnet. And I will leave the same kind of configuration for the adapter type and promiscuous mode for my local VM. By clicking on OK, the configuration is saved. Now I just need to get my local VM started. Now the starting process could take a couple of minutes because let's let's understand what, what is going to happen. So VirtualBox now is going to create a tiny instance there on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure that will act as the bridge or as the proxy between the OCI VCN and the OCI subnet and the local VirtualBox VM. So as you can see, a new instance is going to start and this instance is going to also have a public IP address as well as a private IP address. And this one will be the instance that transparently we locked as a bridge between my local Oracle Linux 8 VM and the same instances running there on this subnet or on this VCN uh, on, on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Yeah, as you can see now, uh, the virtual machine is going to start. As soon as the virtual machine will boot, uh, the same uh, will get an IP address directly from Oracle Cloud Infrastructure right um, and that ip address will be there in the subnet that i have defined on the virtualbox ui okay now my vm is booting and this one obviously is a standard oracle linux 8 update 6 system let's log in Okay, now let's see which kind of network configuration we have in place on, on this um, VM. So the IP address is 192.168.0.183, right? Now, um, yeah, and obviously, this VM is running locally. As you can see, I have the console. It's a local VM running on VirtualBox. Now, I would like to see which one is going to be the IP private IP address of this VM. I do not need to level the public. I'm there on OCI. I can just select the private IP address, get back here and say SSH Ubuntu. And the private IP address of my Ubuntu VM running there on OCI. Right, so Ubuntu VM is running on OCI, OL8 VM is running locally on VirtualBox. And as you can see, I have a direct connection happening there between my local VM running on VirtualBox and Ubuntu instance running there on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Thanks to this kind of option, uh, you can easily get a local VirtualBox development environment working, for example, with a real right, or a full data Oracle database running there on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So I can test my application locally on VirtualBox before getting the same exported, because you know, with VirtualBox, you can also export your VM and get the same running there on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And as a further demonstration, we can also open a browser and check which one is my public IP address. And as you can see, this one is the public IP address coming from Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Another demonstration that my local VirtualBox VM is really acting and working as it is running on OCI uh, is also related to the, the how the, the IP address is going to be resolved. So 
Uh, if I, I check, for example, the host name associated to the IP address of that instance, you can easily see that over there I'm getting the proper host name as well as the domain name defined by the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure VCN. Right. And, and, and again, uh, this kind of thing allows you to easily get your local VMs talking there with, with systems running on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And, and even if the instance running there on Oracle Cloud only has a private IP address, thanks to this kind of functionality, your local VirtuBox VMs will be able to talk with that one. So you are not required to have a public IP address there for your systems. So, uh, a local VirtuBox VM can also be leveraged as a bridge to directly interact with your production systems without the requirement to get there on the OCI web interface or without the requirement or, or of getting public IP addresses uh, associated to your production systems. Thank you for your time and feel free to get in touch on LinkedIn, Twitter, as well as on my blog. It will be a pleasure to possibly help you on adopting and leveraging VirtualBox 7. Thank you.